My name is Dr. Kurt Belk, and I'm a board-certified emergency physician and the medical director of the Urgency Room. I want to thank you for choosing us as your health care provider. The following video offers follow-up care instructions to your recent visit. I'm Dr. Michael Bryant, a board-certified emergency physician. You are seen today for pneumonia, which is a chest infection or inflammation. If your doctor decided this was due to a bacterial infection, you may need an antibiotic. Sometimes pneumonia is caused by a virus. An antibiotic will not help. Take good care of yourself by following our home health care recommendation so you can recover as quickly as possible. Your recovery time is determined by many factors including your age, general health, and the cause of your pneumonia. In general, it could take anywhere from a week to a month for your symptoms to go away. Some cases of pneumonia require hospitalization, but your urgency room doctor determined that you don't need to be admitted at this time. If your symptoms change, let us know right away or follow up with your regular physician. Some cases of pneumonia require hospitalization, but your urgency room doctor determined that you don't need to be admitted at this time. If your symptoms change, let us know right away or follow up with your regular physician. Make sure you fill any prescriptions the doctor gave you and take them right away especially antibiotics. It's important that you finish a whole antibiotic prescription even if you're feeling better. Your urgency room physician may have given you a prescription for an inhaler, which can help loosen tight air passages. Use it as needed, but not more often than directed. Inhalers work much better when used with a spacer. Sometimes our doctors recommend steroids to reduce inflammation. If you are given a prescription, keep in mind that you might notice restlessness or an increased appetite while taking it. Using long-term steroids can have many serious side effects, but for short courses, these do not happen. You can also use non-prescription cough or cold medicines. These cough medicines might help, but they usually don't make the cough completely go away. When you have pneumonia, avoid smoke that will irritate your inflamed lungs because this can make your symptoms much worse. If you smoke, now's a good time to quit. Consider using nicotine lozenges, gum, or patches to reduce your cravings. If you have a fever, Acetaminophen or ibuprofen can help bring your fever down. It may help you feel more comfortable. Once you're healthy, a pneumonia vaccination can help prevent you from getting pneumonia again. And please get your flu shot each year, since you may be more susceptible now that you've had pneumonia. Your health is our top concern. Don't hesitate to come visit us again if you notice any of the following symptoms. Your breathing gets much worse. You're very weak or feel much more ill. You develop new symptoms, such as chest pain, you cough up blood, or if you're vomiting enough that you can't keep fluids or your medicine down. If your urgency room physician told you to follow up at your clinic with your regular doctor, be sure to call right away and go to your appointment. We hope you feel better soon. And remember, you can come see us anytime if you're not feeling well for fast, compassionate medical care. These videos are intended to provide helpful health information to the general public. They are not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat health problems. And you should not use these videos in place of a call or visit to a medical professional. Talk with your physician about the proper treatment for your particular condition. And always follow your physician's advice. If you think you need an ambulance or are experiencing a medical emergency, please dial 911 immediately. Mm -hmm.